Hi guys, it's been a while. Um, welcome to the Maker's Notebook podcast number. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll flash your hair. It's been a while. It's so good to be back though. I'm Tracy. And I'm Stacy. And uh, you can find us on Ravelry and Instagram right here. So uh, it's been a minute. Uh, this month, uh, the month of June had gotten away from us and um, uh, we've been slowly uh, reconnecting, even we still practice social distancing, even as a family, but we're still trying to reconnect. So this is our first time trying to get together and podcast. So well, yeah, we keep our circle small. Yeah. I mean, pretty much Tracy's the only people we get close to. Yeah. <laughs> Um, her and her family, um, everybody else we kind of stay away from pretty yeah. much. Um, Ian does get play dates with his friends Social outside, distance, yeah. mm-hmm. socially distanced, yep. they're bike riding yep. together. Yep. So, um, but yeah. yeah, I mean, it's only so long you can go without being with family, you know, at least one other family. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of good. It's good because I feel like um, you miss that connection. Yeah. People. Yeah. So for a while, I felt like I was going bonkers. <laughs> See, you know, same faces same every day. Same faces every day. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. Um, you have anything new to share? No. Um, no. Uh, the, uh, yeah, we are hanging in tight again, trying to social distance to uh, kind of avoid or delay getting the virus. <laughs> but <laughs> Tracy's smirking. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so today we found out that my children's school opened back. They're supposed to um, go back on August 13th. That's the start back date. And we're supposed to hear from our governor today mm-hmm. about the reopening plans. Yeah. But the school went ahead um, prior. Because she they go to a charter school. Charter school. Mm-hmm. And they went ahead and uh, sent out their reopening plans, which is plan B, which is a combination of extreme social distancing and um, minimal social distancing. So they'll be going to school just a couple days out the week, physical, in-person learning, and the other three days out the week, they'll be e-learning. Right. And they have to wear masks yeah. all day long, yeah. and they have to eat oh. within their classroom. That's hard. It's gonna be hard, <laughs> I don't hard. know. I don't know, but it'll be just be for four weeks, they say, and then um, depending on what the data metric says, they will transition back to either e-learning yeah. or whatever the yeah. whatever the government they'll says. They'll reassess. They'll reassess. Point. So they claim they said that they um they made this decision based on the teachers' input and the parents um community parent community of parents and um, there are quite a few doctors and scientists um that's in that community and they basically were in close discussions with them the entire time and that's how they arrived at that decision but like i said they say this is all subject to change because the governor could come out and say no <laughs> everybody's going to do e-learning so that trumps that so yeah so we shall see what happens <laughs> yeah and then during all of this um lockdown and social distancing uh they have been uh a lot of discussion going on on social media and, um, and protests going on with Black Lives Matter, which we've been following closely. And uh, it's near and dear to us because obviously, yeah, we, we, it's nothing new to us, right? We grew up with, I mean, we're Chinese and Black, if that tells you anything. <laughs> so we were kind of born into those kind of situations, but The thing I guess I want to say is that um, I'm happy that the conversation is at least happening Mm -hmm. and that more and more people are becoming aware of um, the plight of minorities, you know, black and brown people. Um, It's hard. You know, we live, I lived in a community where, you know, it, it was hard to I guess what you call blend in you know, or be part of. Yeah, you um, felt like you stood out. Though. Yeah, and so that's why we sold our house yeah. and moved. Yeah. <laughs> and so feel I feel so much better because it was really hard living in a neighborhood like that. And that's terrible. Yeah. It shouldn't be like that. So anyway. But anyway, yeah, I just <laughs> wanted to wanna... acknowledge that. Yeah. <laughs> so So um we have quite a bit to share, so uh let's 
get started, jump right in. Yeah. So you want to do finished objects first? Well, by the way, we want to welcome all new viewers. We yeah. have a few people left some really nice comments and we really appreciate it. And we, we you know, a lot of people, we have a few new subscribers and they left such wonderful comments and we really, really appreciate the feedback. Yeah. Thank you guys for thank subscribing you. and thank you um, for, you know, letting us know, you know, what you like and that kind of thing. So yeah, we can keep you. doing it. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, let's start with finished objects. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's jump right in. So uh, I finished. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> the, cozy, the Cozy Classic Raglan by Jesse May Designs. I um, don't know if I last shared on the last um, podcast that we did. Um, I don't think I got that far. But anyway, um, it's complete and blocked. And this is nice. Oh my the gosh. material is it feels amazing. Like butter on your skin. Oh yeah. <laughs> so the yarn is by Magpie Fiber Swanky DK. Yeah. And the color is Mesa. And I knit a size small, but I did make a slight modification. Oh, okay. And um and the needle sizes I used was size four and eight. The size four to cast on the neckline, and I did a regular cast on. I did not do the um the special cast on that she recommended. Mm -hmm. She said you could use either or your favorite one or the one she recommended. And um the modification I made was I added more to the yoke. Okay. Because I didn't want it to be tight to tight up here. Oh, okay. Look so at I you. added some more. I know, I know. <laughs> Doing profesh things. So the size it came out perfect. It came out. It's a perfect size. That was nice to block too. It wasn't like it didn't stretch out or anything. It was just no. a matter of laying it out and it, it the just, yarn is it held. Oh, it's nice. The yarn is swanky, let me tell you. <laughs> Hence swanky DK. Yes, I can't wait to wear it. So this was an easy knit. It was very easy and fun. And it's, uh, I've been looking for a basic raglan sweater to knit. And this is it. Yeah, this is nice. I love it. I oh. want to make one. And yes. the pattern generally calls for um, fingering and mohair. Held together. Held together, but not in this climate here in North Carolina. No. <laughs> so I used um, DK weight. So mm -hmm. yeah, it feels nice. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have anything? Um, so I'm wearing the Shelly Summer Top by um, Nancy Ricci, getting pearly with it. Uh, and I used Modern Cotton by Barocco. And the color is Salty Brine. It is so cute. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm not it's gonna so get up because I don't wanna shake any of the table and all that good stuff. I <laughs> saw on um, Instagram, this um, lady had on one in black and she made a Skirt and the skirt was long and nice. nice. It was a, a midi length. Okay. Oh, it looks so cute mm. together. Oh my god. People have been rocking them. They yeah. have. <laughs> and her and her hair. She had it um, in a pixie cut, and she dyed. And her hair was blonde. Like Ooh. you could tell she did a platinum blonde. Yeah, yeah. So it made her look very edgy with the outfit on. I'm like, oh my gosh, I love creative. that. Yeah. So, um, I um, the finished object I have is the Venezia shawl by Hohi Locatelli. It's um, a one skeiner. And so cute. This is a perfect little summer kind of thing, you know. Yeah. It's light. Is this lace down here? Yeah. Nice. And I used the Lola Bean yarn. I forget the name of this. Uh, let me see if I can find it. <sighs> Lola Bean, is it fingering? Yeah, it is fingering. And her stuff has silk in it, right? The Lola Bean. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, it's called Refried Beans. It's the 8020 Merino Silk fingering. 400 yards. And so, yeah, I was able to use pretty much all of it. I had a tiny bit left, but we probably enough to make a couple of little mini squares for the Afghan from oh, Casablanca. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, and this was fun. It's so fun, yeah. Cute. Yeah, it's nice. And it's just light and, you know. Yeah. yeah. When it's not too cold yeah. out, but it's still cool and yeah. you want something. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you know what? I keep seeing wearing this with a um a white top, a, a white outfit. Yeah. You know? That would like be nice. a white dress or white um top tank. You know. That would be nice. Yeah, yeah. That would be so nice. 
It was fun and I like the little ridges here. I guess the neck curl and then the lace. It was it was fun. It's, it's not fun. wide, so that's why it's so nice. Yeah, it looks and so it's very nice. nice and nice. Yeah. I haven't taken Apple pictures, so I have to do that. Oh so gosh, nice. yeah, I'm so behind. <laughs> <that>. <laughs> I'm very behind. Okay. So the All next right. finished object we have is Flores by Bohi Locatelli. It's a uh, shorty sock. <laughs> Using, um, Tracy used some leftover, I had some junk yarn, um, sock blank, Donatella, that I had knit some other shorts, shorty socks that I'll flash here, I'll show you guys in a minute. But Tracy used that leftovers there to make the Flores. Yes, 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 yeah. yes. A little quick and fast, easy knit. Look at her. Yeah, yeah. Show it's yours. it's yeah. Was that a set? That's that. Um, was that a? Um... Oh yeah, this is. So my sock was made with the. Um, I should have brought my sock blocker because then you would be able to see it much better. I'll try to flash a picture. But anyway, um, I use Maker's Haven's sock kit. She will move mountains using a size one needle. Uh, Maker's Haven, unfortunately, she stopped dying yarn really yeah she's uh, mm -hmm. too. um but yeah it, it was too much for her with the kids oh, yeah and homeschooling tough. she homeschooled them that's so, tough yeah so anyway there we go did you ever use yours no i still have it i need to guys shorty <laughs> socks is the way if you lose your sock knitting mojo yes just do some shorties yes <laughs> yes 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 they and I like the hohi, hohi's this lace detail. It's really, it's fun. It's yes. really nice. Highly recommend. Yes, very nice. I love those colors together though. Yeah, it was a kit. It was a mini, like, yeah. um, it was 50 gram for the main color that she sold. It's like, and then a little mini for the, for this one. So it came together as a kit. It was like a mini, mini kit. <laughs> So there you go, Flores. You have other socks? Or? Yeah, I do. I have. Oh, oh, oh yeah, the Lynn sock by Dawn Henderson. Yeah, and we did this with um, we did a, a little uh, cow with uh, Katuska from between these stitches. Mm -hmm. So, um, I like yours. You can see it better. You can see the, the detail on her. Oh yeah, because I use a plain color. Yeah, because I use Morocco, um, ultra wool fine. And the color is 53158. <laughs> <laughs> but you love the scallop edges, right? It's so yeah. cute. It's so nice. It's nice. I mean, you'll see it with the variegated. I'm about to show mine. Yes. Um, and I use junk yarn, <laughs> Donatella, uh, which was um, what Tracy knit her other sock with that you just saw. The Flores. The Flores. Yeah. So you see what it looks like with the variegation and then with the... Out. With that. Yeah. Um, you can see it a little better, right? The pattern. Yeah. If I could have gotten a lighter green color, I'd see it much better, it's right? Like, yeah. You need something a little a little bit lighter in color and you can see it. And that is um variegated. And this is yarn. a free pattern, right? It's a free yes, pattern. Yes, that was a free pattern. It's a free pattern on yeah. Ravelry by Dawn yeah. Henderson. Yeah. And she called for I um think size one to do the scallop edges and then I did a two and a half okay. for the foot. Oh, I forgot what I said. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put on my glasses to see that. <laughs> Anything else? Um, where's the other sweater? That one I showed last time. Oh, you did show it? Oh, yeah. you showed it already. Okay. Yeah, that, um, that boiler knit sweater. What is it called again? Gosh, I can't remember. Oh, Ingalls. Ingalls. Yes, I showed that last time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that was pre-blocked. I have more socks. Um, this is the second time I believe knitting this sock. It's the Hoggle socks by Mina Phillip. Um, so cute. That's using, yarn. <laughs> using nomadic yarn, mischief managed. All my socks I use size one needles. Um, I forget. I think I did 56 stitches on this. Um, I try to do. I think I tried to do 64 and it was looking really big. I have narrow feet. So anyway, the design has like um, the this detail here going up, and I did so the nice. afterthought heel, which is my go-to for striped socks. Um, 
they both fit me well, the Aptus Pods and the um, Heel Flap and Gusset kinds. Mm -hmm. But I rather the Heel Flap Gusset, the yeah. look of it. Me it's too. just, you know. But with striped socks, this afterthought looks it's better. More, looks better. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Definitely. Yeah. And I follow Susan B. Anderson's method for afterthoughts. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, very good. I I try to do that, and I always end up with a hole in there. And I know I could probably weave in the ends. Oh, I think I'll show you next time when you yeah. whenever you want to do it. Just show me. Yeah, I'll show you how to do it. But um, I, oh, I do um. Oh, what's her name? Okay, so I use her afterthought heel for, um, by Susan B. But then I use a mashup. I use Kirby Warby method mm. of cutting into the yarn. Mm. Not putting them on placeholder, um, not pl putting a placeholder. Oh, yeah, 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 you cut. Yeah, I cut it using Kirby Warby, and she's on YouTube. You can follow that. It's very good. I tried it once. And it didn't work? It, it worked. I, I, I guess I was so scared. I was Because, you know, when you cut it, you're like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hers is good. And then for the toe, whether for all of my, well, for all of my socks, I put, um, very recently, probably the past year or two, I've been using Mina Phillips rounded toe mm. because I don't like pointy toes. Mm, me neither. I think it's weird looking. It so is. just for me on my feet. But um, so I use her rounded toe for all of my socks. Oh, nice. Whether it's her pattern or not. So yeah, I'm still working through her sock. Uh, she had a sock um, set. Oh. Um, a few years ago, a couple of years ago, right. and I'm still working through some of those socks. So mm -hmm. anyway. But this is my second time knitting this because I don't like striped socks without any, a little something something. As I've said in other podcasts, it needs to have a little something. Yeah. So anyway. <laughs> it can't be too vanilla now. No. It's <laughs> yeah. boring. Do you have any more? Um. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh, I was supposed to bring you a tag. Forget. Yeah, you're supposed to bring your tag, and I forgot to remind you. Yeah. My fault. Anyway, guys, um, like I need another bag. I just wanted to mix up my um, cro uh, my knitting, my craft and palette, however you want to call it. Um, I guess at one point with everything going on, I just got I couldn't, green, right? Yeah, so I couldn't green. knit anything anymore. Um, so I started knitting socks, but then I got tired in between that, so I put that down, and then I found um. Stacy told me she was um, crocheting a bag. And I was like, oh, maybe I should do a bag too, because my other bag is kind of big. Well, only because she crocheted a bag. So I'm like, okay, I want to crochet a bag. And then she's like, okay, I want to crochet a bag. <laughs> <laughs> but my bag was kind of big. So I said, I need something a little bit smaller, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, this is it. The, is it the Edda bag? The Edda bag. Um, it's a free pattern on We Are Knitters. I used the We Are Knitters cotton and terracotta. Yep. And what did you use? I use um, the Pima cotton and navy. Using size H hook. Did yes. You use a size H hook? Yes. Okay. I did. And I put a label on mine. I have to give her one to Tracy. It says Trini girl. <laughs> She's a Trini girl though too, so it, it, it applies. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. yeah, we have that. I think it's so cute. Yeah. These are nice to make us gifts if people like these things, you know. So one of the reasons why I did this, not because I needed a bag, but because I wanted to do a tutorial, um, which I'm working on, I just have to film the other half of it for how to make this bag for a beginner, because my daughter and my mom wants to do it. And so um, I don't know if they're, she or they are really going to do it, but at least I'll put it out there in case anybody else is interested in learning how to crochet. It's very easy. I oh, mean, yeah. it's just very basic yeah. chain, single crochet. Single I think, crochets, pretty much. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. it. Um, very easy. It's very simple, and the and pattern is free on We yeah. Knitters. Yeah, and so and you can use any cotton yarn. Yeah, and it's quick, right? You can yeah. make this in like a day or less. Well, for beginners, it might take them a little <laughs> bit longer, but yeah, it's fast though. It's so a that fast knit. Once I mean, crochet. Start, sorry. Yeah, and so when they start, they wouldn't feel like they're working on this big, huge project. You know, the the FO would be gratifying and it would yes. be quick. Yes. So and something you can use. Yeah. 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 So well that's all I have finished objects. What about I you? I think I have one more. Okay. And that's the Kiora shawl, which um by Guys. Tammy Gore. I didn't block it so it doesn't 
you know. Um, so here we go. Starts over there and then ends over here. I had a struggle with this, not the pattern itself, but the coloring. I was using yeah. a plain beige and it was just too plain for moi. <laughs> I needed a little speckle in my life. <laughs> so um, anyway, so the this color here, pinkish color, is um, autumn and indigo sport weight in rosewood, one skein. And then the lighter color here is the yarn experiment sport in the color Cleveland and um, two skeins of that. It came out perfect. The colors match perfectly. I feel better about the color. And the only thing to remember if you do decide to make this pattern um, is the edges. You have to be very loose with it or else it becomes tight. It's I, not loose. I did that one time on a whole Hilo Locatelli yeah. shawl and you told me about that. Yeah, so I think um, there's ways around these things. <laughs> like do a, a yarn over or something like that and then you let it go. I did, you know. Don't 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 knit it. You you put the yarn over there, but you don't work it. Mm. You let it drop mm -hmm. when you turn it around. So anyway, um, I still feel like it's kind of tight, but it doesn't matter. It looks uh, good. Yeah, I like I use the pattern needle size six, and there you have it. Nice. My second tummy bore. Tracy and Katuska supposed to be making theirs. I have to get more yarn. I need to get. Um, I have one skein of something, so I need to get <laughs> another color to contrast. But guys, what's kept this so interesting is that you start off on this end, and um, look at just all the, it's a bunch of short rows. So yeah. you become, you. Be, I did um, German short rows because to me that's easier mm -hmm. than that wrap and turn stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, um, so if you want to do the German short row, yeah. if you, do you know how to do it? Yeah. 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 So perfect. Yeah. So anyway, um, so these are all the short rows and then all the see all the interest you know so nice so nice and then the lazy parts nice. the, the sport weight is nice it yeah. feels amazing my favorite weight is probably sports and dk probably. yeah but yeah. this weather over here is yeah nice it feels really nice on the to touch yeah so um German short row, you can look it up. Um, it's a nice alternative to wrap and turns, which can be a little confusing. Uh, what you do if it says wrap and turn at wrap, um, wrap at the seventh stitch, knit mm -hmm. seven and then wrap and turn, mm -hmm. what you do is you knit eight and then you do the German short row. Oh. You always add one, oh. yeah, to your thing. So, but you can look that. up a tutorial. Yeah, they have them. Um, I think, so. um, yeah, a bunch of people have it. So, on YouTube. Okay. So Is that it for finished objects? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 28? Oh, that's not bad. Okay. I only have like two whips. Me too. So, we should be able to get two and a that. half. Okay. So, um, I have been sort of kind of monogamous lately. Mm, and I don't too. know why. <laughs> I guess because there's so much going on. I can't focus too much. And uh, keeping kids occupied and stuff like the that. Kids, it's, it's, it's hard. Kids, yeah. It's hard. So um, I am working on uh, the Doodler by Stephen West. Oh, Stephen West. Yeah, I had some yarn in stash, and then I just needed one more color. So I um, here it is. I am. I'll say about 85, 90 percent. 85 percent done, maybe somewhere in that ballpark. And uh, still on the needle, so it's kind of hard to oh, show. Look at that! I, I want to. Yeah, this is on my queue. Yeah. So these are the um, what you call it? The cables. So, um, so the yarn. Okay. So the yarn I use. I have to look at my notes. So sorry, guys. The yarn I use is uh, this green here. Uh, is it green? I don't know. But this is my. This is Miss Babs' um, yummy two ply, and the color is cumin. Oh, nice. I love Miss Babs. Oh yeah, that. The gray is by Twisted Owl Fibers Two Ply Sock, and um, I don't I have um the name of the color per se, but it's a gray color, I'm like a grayish, purpley color. And then the main body, the main color is um Swamp Bunny Fibers Two Ply Sock, and the color is Siesta Beach. 
You guys, this is so easy. I thought I was always intimidated by Stephen West shawls, and I don't know why. Is this your first? Yes, it's my first. And the needle I'm using is a size uh, six. I don't know why I have size eight. Size six. And um, I went up two needle sizes because I know I'm a tight knitter, so I went up two sizes. And um, so my sister gave me some stitch markers for my birthday. And I am loving them. Oh yeah, I love the ring ones. I don't like when too many dangly ones. I mean, they're cute, but no, I like rings on. I like the rings. But... I can't use. It. I can't do the dangly. So they come in this color, the copper like. Oh, it comes gold? in a bunch of different colors, Copper, right? gold, and silver. Yeah. Anyway, it's the coconuts it. and the little box. Is that what do it is? Do you have it? Of course I do. Yeah. So, so that one. And I don't know if I can show it without anything yeah. falling out. Look at that. You're not going to run out. <laughs> no, of course not. Yeah. But anyway, it's my first Stephen West shawl and I'm loving it. What I like about Stephen West shawls is that, especially his non, if, it, if it's non-brioche, not everybody can do brioche, but the other ones, it's just interesting the way his construction is. Yeah. Like, his vertices unite. Oh, even this one, right? Yes. He has you do a certain part and then yes. you go to another part. Oh, yeah. It's all. Yes. It keeps you engaged. Yeah. It definitely keeps you engaged, but it's not difficult yeah. to say, huh, what? So, <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it. It reminds me, this, even though the styles are totally different, but it reminds me the way to understand their patterns is like Hoi's patterns. Because hers, I think I understand it really well. Yeah. And there's so much interest in her shows, yeah, I yeah. think. So. Yeah, I love it. I like those shows because they're simple, but they're nice. Interest, yeah. 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 So. If you want a little, if you want something with more interest as far as construction, Stephen West. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was intimidated for a long time yeah. because I thought because, oh, I need some years under my belt. And I finally buckled down and decided to do it. And it's just like going by so fast. I'm already, I told her already, I end up the next one for fall. Do vertices. Yeah. Vertices. Yeah. I or the eyeball. I, I want to do the eyeball. I told her I want to do the eyeball. I want to do vertices too, but my concern is just I suck at picking out colors. <laughs> oh, I can help you with that. You need this and you need that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for me, I'm working. Are you done turning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working on Current Mood by Leslie Ann Robinson, mm -hmm. the sister in law of Andrew Maui. Oh, no, I did not know that. And she's married to um, Andrea Mary's brother. Okay. Anyway, um, she does a lot of brioche, mostly brioche. And I've never knit any of her patterns before. And I was just fiending for some brioche. Brioche is like a drug. You just you want it. <laughs> so anyway, um, she came up recently with this pattern. And I had to jump all over it. Oh, okay. It's a back. back. It's okay. So there you go. It's a wrap. You work it. Yeah, it's worked on the diagonal like that. So I'm going this way. Colors are stunning. I love the so colors. So there's some lace in there in between each brioche panel. Um, so what am I using? Size four needles, um, signatures. Those are nice. Nice, but not my favorite. Color. Really? No. Right now, guys, my favorite is probably the liquor. Oh, yeah. I, I kind of gravitate, like when I think of casting on, yeah. I look at those needles first. Really? Mm -hmm. I like Chagu or Chagu. Haya Haya. I like Haya Haya um, for when I, yeah, I like Haya Haya. The Chagu I just bought to mm -hmm. try, but the cord. What's wrong with it? It's firm. I don't know. It's weird. Oh, I like it. I haven't met with it yet, but I was just checking it out. I'm like, yeah. This is what this is. I, I wanted to give it a chance, but I'm just like, wow, this cord is interesting. Anyway, so I have one here. Chagoose. What does it say? It's no memory in it or something? No There's memory. no, it doesn't hold, like, it doesn't keep its memory. Like, it doesn't bunch up and stay that way. It Ah, uh, like the others? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess I never paid attention. Huh. Yeah. I never had any problems. Yeah. So. It feels stiffer to me. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, um, I'll try it on another project I'll talk about in a minute. But... I'm using for the light, the lightest color is um, Hedgehog Sock in the film Noir. It, this is Treasured Stash. <laughs> well, I'm like, I gotta knit through my stash because, guys, I'm beginning to lose the knitting bundle. Yeah. 
Yeah. I don't know if it's because of everything that's going on. He's so busy. Yeah. You have so much things you want to do. I, actually, I think it's because of our uh, times is very strong. Yeah. It's yes, hard to, kind of to focus. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, um, anyway, so I have to, before I lose the bug completely, I'm like, I gotta work my stash. So that's film noir. <laughs> and then the second color is fig and posy. Um, it's a sock yarn. The color is cinnamon. And then lastly, more treasured yarn. I had this for like probably three years. Wow. <laughs> Whiskey Barrel uh -huh. uh, is the color by Madeline Tosh Twist Light. They're and great colors together. Yeah. So anyway, having fun with that. And it's mindless. I mean, pfft. yeah, it's mindless. You know, in terms of the knit, losing a knitting book, after a while, it's only but so many shawls you can make and so many sweaters, well, right? right? Without next... taking a break for a while and then coming back to it. That's the next thing. I have like a gazillion shawls that yeah. I don't even get to wear because it's warm here, right? Yeah. And we're getting warmer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because we haven't had a proper winter here in a couple yeah. of years, right? Yeah. So, but then it's like, oh, you can make it and give it to somebody who? Because people... Unless somebody asks me specifically for it, I'm yeah. not going to sit there and just make it for yeah. somebody for it to sit in your closet, right? So it's just like, I can see why after a while you're like, oh, I need to take a break. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm... Um, uh, I'm like, okay, I'm going to knit that very slowly because I want to knit more shawls, but I have no need for them. Yeah. So I'm just, yeah. you know. Yep. I, so I've been knitting them slowly too. I haven't knit a lot of shawls this year. Yeah. So. Yeah. I was thinking of maybe knitting a blanket, but brioche. That might take mm -hmm. care of that brioche <laughs> knitting desire. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and it'd be something I can. Use, use right? Yeah. You throw it around, or, you know, you can use it or whatever. Yeah. So, do you have another work? work? I do, but it's really small. I haven't Mine gotten too. far on it. So, because I had loved the Cozily Raglan sweater so much, I wanted to knit another one, and I'm being lazy. Shut I up. don't want to um, block anything, uh, swatch anything because I'm being lazy. No, you don't need to swatch. You swatched already. I know, that's what I'm saying. That's why I chose to do. <laughs> I guess if you're using a different kind of yarn, you probably should swatch, but I'm like, eh. I didn't. I'm using a different kind of yarn, and I didn't want to swatch again, so I decided, you know, like, I'm being lazy. It. I decided to go for it, and um, if it don't come out, it don't come out. I'll just rip it out. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm making the cozy Raglan sweater again, and um, again, a size small, and but this time I'm using Native Fibers DK yarn. This feels nice. Oh man. And oh, she's color. having a clearance sale, guys. Is she? I wonder if she has any more because I need yes. one more skein. Good deal. I mean, I think it's still on. Let this color is called Huntsman, and I need to get one more skein. So it's like, because I would like to get it before I get any further in, and I need to alternate skeins. So. Yes, as of today, she still has has them on sale. Is Huntsman on there? Do you know <laughs> So I just got past the collar and I'm starting to do the German short rows. And it's like every time I start it, somebody needs something. Yep, she has Huntsman. Oh, mm -hmm. all right. I got to order it after. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, but that's what I'm working on. I might have to place an order too. Um, get back to my screen here with my notes. Okay. So I'm working on, are you done? Yeah, that's all I have. I'm working on you. I'm being monogamous lately. Oh, guys, sock. Must have. Sock ruler? Sock ruler. Best ever. I use it for every sock. Wow. <laughs> so I'm working on the Lotta, if I'm pronouncing that right, socks by Emily Joy Rickard from the 52 Weeks of Socks giant book. <laughs> um, the yarn is Mondim number 207. I love that green and brown together. And then, again, size one needles. And um, you barely could see it. That's like mine. Because I put it as I started and then I put it down. <laughs> That's mine. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, my sweater, y'all. But anyway, I just used some leftover from another project as the stripes. Um, you're supposed to do two color stripe, but I just did one. 
and then the design now because of all the speckle it's hard to see right there i don't know if you can see it probably when i'm done with it because it's so small right now but mm -hmm. anyway um yeah that's what i'm working on oh guys i forgot to mention this little bracelet here <laughs> using the leftovers from um the oh. collage <laughs> did you bring yeah, it the pillow i think i showed the finished object i, I, I might have yeah. i couldn't yeah. remember <laughs> but um when i made this bag she's a, so cute and then um i found this at michael's a little zipper i use it as a zipper pole anyway this oh folks as far as uh oh. I am working on the traveling after. Oh, Have yeah. you been working on that? I did, but I need to get back to it. Yeah. And that's why I didn't bring it because I'm like, oh, so. so I'm on square number 13. I stay up She's to date. She's staying so really good up to date. Actually, 14 came out. I don't know when, a couple days ago, I guess. I don't know. But I'm on square number 13. You look so much bigger than mine. I know. I think it's the yarn. I, I'm concerned that this square might be really big. But anyway, I'm, I'm like two rows, two rounds. I'm being done with this square. That's nice. And <gasps> I'm so jealous. <laughs> wow. Guys. So, is it all crochet? Or yes. Or? No, actually. Can Which, you see the knits? Oh, no. Is it so, this one? This one? Yes, that's knit. And this one is knit. Okay. Oh, well, three knits. One, two, three. And three. Oh, is it? Turn it around. I think it's one. Oh, one. sorry. Um, so guys, I did this. I think I did all these. I did these first two rows, except this. Oh, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> okay, I love this, the way it looks. It's beautiful. But the person who wrote this pattern refuses to... <laughs> to help anybody. <laughs> to help anybody figure it out. I, I've been reading patterns for many years, and I just... Yeah. I'll tell you, how did you figure it out? I guessed. And so I'm pretty sure there's errors in there. So I feel like, I guess, I think it's supposed to be sort of, I don't know, this, I think I made an it's, error on here. That first part is, her yeah. instructions is very hard. It's not hard. clear at all. And everybody, I looked yes. at the comments, was asking yes. for her to show, and she... To either show them, they had questions for clarification, or just do a video of clarification, she doesn't want to and do I it. And I think the reason she doesn't want to is because she has other patterns that has that stitch and that pattern mm -hmm. and you have to pay for it oh gotcha. so i'm thinking maybe that's why. oh okay which i mean i guess and why, why would you include that in that pattern then because it's creating such confusion i don't know and then there were a couple other patterns that when i look at the instructions i'm just like i know that yeah i, I rather knit it so there were three of them like that that i knit after i did hers i said the next ones that come up like that i'm knitting them yeah and that's what i did so. well yeah, I'm gonna have to knit. I mean, I really love that. I really want that. That's no, beautiful. But heck, if I could figure out those instructions. Yeah, it's very, very, it's not clear at all. It's clear as mud. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so, not to say her, I don't know about her pay patterns, how they are. I mean, yeah. I don't wanna say, but that, because, I guess because it's free, you know, it's not tested. It's, you know, yeah. it's just what I yeah. But this one I'm working on, number 13, it's pretty fun. So okay. I like right. it. I have to catch up. Yeah. That other row. Well, I'm I'm only two rows in, so <laughs> I don't want to be stuck with this whole thing to do at the end of the year. So I, I'm trying my best. No, I'm, I keep watching. I'm like, I need to get to that. I need time. But mm -hmm. guys, I get tired of sitting. Yeah. yeah. That's my butt. <laughs> well, I feel like I'm constantly every time I sit down to do something, I gotta pick up the needle and do some, 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 and then put it down because then I get like you. I don't want to sit for too long. What is thirty minutes? So then I gotta get up. And then what I find myself doing is standing in the kitchen. And because um, if I stand in my office, I will just sit down. So I find, find myself standing in the kitchen. Well, because your, count, your counter is high, high enough to. Yeah, yeah. So I stand in my kitchen and I either crochet or knit. But yeah. then if the children see you standing there and you're not taking <laughs> care of them, they have to ask for something. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I have on. Needles, that's it. Okay. You have anything else? No, that's it. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I have other stuff, but they're time out. 
Oh. You know, remember that basket you went through? Oh, yeah. I went to her place the other day. <laughs> I was just <laughs> picking through all the stuff. <laughs> She's like, oh, what's this? I'm like, oh, my God, those things are from like three years ago. <laughs> and I keep going deeper and deeper. And what's this? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, please, don't remind me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so, funny. Anyway, um, anyway. So I'm dreaming of, actually, I plan to cast on the Ripple Camisole by Jessie Mae. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna swatch. <laughs> I'm just gonna cast on because it's a tank top and I refuse to go down to a size three needle mm. <laughs> for a tank top. Spot. Anyway, um, I'm gonna use this extra skinny yarn I had from a previous project and I'll use that. It's the Barocco Ultra Fine. Yes. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll give that a twirl. See where I land. My other sister's like, make me one. I'm like, send me your measurements. She sent it. So I will make it, but I'm going to try it out with this first, see how my gauge is and how it turns out. And if it turns out fine, I'll make it. easily make her one. Okay. And I'll probably make another one for myself. <laughs> make a couple, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. anyway, so that's that. And the other thing I want to make is the Rift by Jacqueline Sisler. She has a, um, a cow starting. Does she for that, for the Rift? For any of her projects, I think. Uh, uh, any of her patterns. So I'm going to use this that I got from my local yarn shop, Hearts on Fiber. It's the Crimson Co. Willet in the Lord alone knows what color. <laughs> uh, almond. So I think that'll look good. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be great. So That'd be so nice. Yeah. I'm going to do that. And then, uh, what about you? Any dreaming? Um, uh, my daughter asked for a um, ish, scarf, shawl, whatever. She said, can you make me something? So I said, sure. So she, I said, what color? She said, black and white, ombre effect. And I'm like, huh? On what? <laughs> black and white with ombre effect. Oh. So I uh, went, went to the yarn store with Stacy on that ex excursion. I picked up these two, which is um, Hearts on Fiber. That's the local yarn store. And um, she uh, has her own line of um yarn yarn so this one is called this is sock yarn and it's called dark magic and i like the sparkle the in sparkle there. in there right be good for a teen it's fun a teenager right and then to pair it with this she wanted a white so i went with is it la P P la pita dairy and it's in just a i should put my glasses on right now but anyway I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do the Breath and Hope show by Casapinko. Ooh. So we're supposed to go to the beach in a few weeks and I think that I'll take that yeah. and work on it there. Then. So that's what I plan to work on. And uh, that's it right now I have lined up. I wanna do the eyeball show, but I need to get yarn. I need to do Kiora, but I need to get more yarn for that, which I'm trying to work with, um, um, what's her name, Chelsea Yarn, trying to get some orders squared away to get that yarn so I can get that show started but uh yeah I got like I need another show all right mm. <laughs> uh, what else do you need you know I, I swatched for the ranunculus um using native fibers right here in the foot loose color that's her tag and um here's the yarn it has like little brown specks in there it's cute Anyway, um, it reminds me of um, mint chocolate chip ice cream. I didn't make the, yeah, it does. <laughs> I didn't make the swatch big enough. Um, but I don't know about this holiness for ranunculus. So. Isn't it supposed to be like that though? Really big and holy? Because that's how I saw some people have it have there. So it's supposed to be like light and eerie, and you okay. wear something underneath it, okay. like a tank top. I don't know. All right. But I, I was seen, thinking. People wearing it big and holy like that. But since it's kind of biggish, right? I'm thinking I'm just going to go down a needle size or two. So that will make it tighter in terms of the, the yes. sheerness of it. But it's a one size fit all. So it might work out all right. I don't know. I started it and then I frogged it. <laughs> anyway. Um, it was coming out too tight. Yeah. Now, Jesse May has that other design, the diaphanous, which is what I saw Native Fiber knit her mm. use with this. And the Siri or Mohair or whatever. Um, she didn't use Mohair, but she used something else, right? Yes, she did. She used Mohair? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. She she did the flutter sleeve. It looks you can beautiful. go to her um, web, um, her Instagram and see it. It's Native Fibers, and uh, I think yeah, I think it doesn't look too bad on screen. So I think um, I might go with it. Yeah, I've been wanting the ranunculus forever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so that's it. Uh, do you have any acquisitions aside from those two? Uh, my sister bought me this for my birthday. Oh, we both had birthdays. I know. Yeah. So this is by one of our local um, yarn shops. Um, cheers to you, the hand dye diva, and the color is OBX. Out my, of Banks, Tracy's fave. My beloved Out of Banks. My family and I go there every year. So, uh, I love it, love it, love it. And you love see it. what Lady Anne does. Cheers to you. She's local to us. She's our local yarn shop. And see, she puts a little bling on her. Yeah, that's so <laughs> cute. Diva. So cute. Um. Yeah, that's all I have in terms of acquisition because during lockdown I couldn't get to the yarn shop. Yeah, and the ordering way. stuff online, I was just, I was being late. I, I couldn't decide and it was just, I was like, uh-uh, I can't decide. I need to see it in person and unless I know exactly what I want. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Um, when we went to Hearts on Fire, I also picked up this because I just couldn't resist. <laughs> oh, what are you going to do with so those? It's cute. It's called um, Socks. I think be nice, but I don't know. I mean, anyway, it couldn't be a shawl because I don't like. I don't need another shawl, <laughs> but it will make a nice shawl, right? Yeah. Like with some other colors in it. Yeah. Anyway, because there's some specs of it. I don't know. We'll see. The project will appear. It's Isn't called. Is it a color for? Was it for spring or fall? A bright green? I think so. I don't know. I've seen people with it, and I like it. It's yeah. nice. Tiger lily and sock. So anyway, um, she has these in her the little mint leaf on them, the little the stubbies, the little stubbies, which is half half this thing, yes. right? So anyway, so cute. It's all on her website, guys. Yeah, yeah, she's a new business, so definitely like, you can go check out her website. We want her to you know, stick around, be prosperous. Anyway, um, all our yarn shops. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then Tracy gave me this, which did I open it? Yeah, open it. I'm surprised she didn't open it to feel it up. No, because I don't. No, I did open it. It's just that it's the bag. I it's, stuck again. Yeah. Because I did. I remember opening it up, right? Yeah. And taking it out the bag that day. Because you know we we're like a few days apart in our birthdays. <laughs> so anyway, um, you're in experiments. Don't you just love her stuff? I know. When I got it, I was fingering. Why didn't I buy one for me? I always do this. Oh, this is sports. <gasps> Well, hello, it's Sport Monkey <laughs> and um, Vintage Confetti, which is good. I'm loving all the sports. It was nice. Ah, okay, yeah, I got to find. What would you put with it? Oh, it feels oh, so look nice. Look at all the colors you can put. Look at all those colors in I there. Know. You can pull out. It's all these blues and greens and browns and mustard. Mercury. Everything's in there. Um, so... That's my oh I have one more acquisition. Let's see. Are you done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. What else? Magpie. Um, I did order the GG made it the orange cock mm-hmm. stand in the gap, which guys, that's I'm glad she said it and I'm glad people are getting it. Mm-hmm. That is what is needed. Seriously. But um so that day I bought it, it was Juneteenth, and I you know I wanted to support because they were um, donating the money, Magpie donated the money to Conscious Kid, mm-hmm. which that day they were, um, if you needed money for rent, they were giving out money to people in need that day. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was really a good cause and I felt, you know, I wanted to contribute somehow. So anyway, I ordered the cup, which I didn't bring here. Um, but I got the Adela colorway. And one is for Tracy. So pick what you must pick. No, it's for no, take, no seriously. Yeah, DK or fingering. You know I love fingering. Okay. Yeah. So it was for her birthday, but it, I, I didn't realize this color was a pre-order, so I just got it, and I was like, okay, I don't know when this color is ever arriving. So why did you get this then? Well, because I wasn't sure when this was arriving. Oh, I thought you said. But actually, these two go together. 
But this is DK though, right? No. Is it? Yeah. The colors go great together. Oh, well, do you want this DK? Oh, it's up to you. No, that's all right. You sure? Positive. She said, the mind is, I can see her face, her mind is going. <laughs> But anyway, um, this oh is gosh. the Adela um, is the greatest, which is some funny thing going oh my on with. Gosh, thank Matt you. Pat. And um, I got the little book, which is to go with hers. <laughs> and I got one of these in my bag. Cause... Same way. This girl. All the goodies. Oh my gosh. What? So you know, I, yeah, I was thinking of saving it for her Christmas. And then I'm yeah, like, yeah, why didn't you? No, because I'm thinking, like, I need an excuse to buy more yarn in so. Okay. <laughs> well, one for her, one for me. You see how that works. I know. We gotta even start thinking about Christmas colorway now for our Christmas cast on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you gonna do um December daily? Yes, of course. I think I'm gonna go back and do the regular size album. Because we did. I did this. So explain because new viewers, viewers here. Okay, so basically December daily is um hosted. Well, not hosted, but it's created by Allie Edwards. Um, you can find her on social media as Allie Edwards. And um, basically, it's documenting um, the month of December. You, we typically document December 1st through the 25th. Some people go do the whole month. Sometimes I've, I've done the whole month in the past. Mm -hmm. And you just document one thing a day, one story a day you want to tell that you want to remember. Um, it could be anything. It could be about decorations. It could be a Christmas. It could be about traditions, cookie baking, anything. Each anything, day you tell working, a story. Yeah. Sto you know, whatever. You want to tell that story to remember. Yeah. You know, like one year, I remember um, it was, I don't know, a week or two before Christmas. And the kids came downstairs in the middle of the night, turned on the TV, and was watching TV because they were so excited about Christmas coming. It was like a week away or something like that. Mm -hmm. They came down like at 3 o'clock in the morning <laughs> watching TV in the living room. Oh, <laughs> like sleepy i was asleep i was just like somehow my brain kicked in and said take a picture of this yeah 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 <laughs> because it's that's what you want to do like, capture at least one story each day whether it's christmas related or not it's yeah. just sharing each day of yeah. your december and you know what looking back five years from now we you know it's always so fun to look back we started doing this in like seven to eight years ago? Yeah. So looking yeah. back even then, yeah. when our lives look totally different, yeah. like, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So. so I documented good things, some sad things. Remember with Sandy Hook, stuff yeah. like that. You're, you know, don't yeah, you don't want to forget. So so this last year, we did a... Um, three by eight? Three by eight? Yeah, it was a shorty, no, short, it was a skinnier album instead of a regular... Five by eight. eight. Six by eight or five by six eight? Six by eight, sorry. Right. So we did a three by eight instead of a regular six, six by eight. Album, yeah. I wanted to try it, just something different. Yeah. And I I keep I love that six by eight though. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. We I guess the kit her Ali Edwards produces a kit and that comes out if you're interested in documentation. Um comes out like September. September. She put you place a pre order, pre -order and then yeah. it's delivered, I think end of October, no early November time frame, I mm -hmm. believe. Mm -hmm. But it's wonderful. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. And, and she has the album and the kit. And the kit has all the the cards and everything you need. And there's other smaller sub kits that you can order as well to go with it to supplement it. Yeah. But it's wonderful. You can customize your yeah. kit. Yeah. Yeah. So. And before we leave you, I have a podcast, audio podcast I want to recommend. And you, some of you probably heard of it already. It's with Brené Brown. Most people know her <laughs> from her vul vulnerability talks. Anyway, she has um, an audio podcast that she started, and it's called Unlocking Us. If you look at it in your um, podcast lineup, search Unlocking Us, our fashion hair with Brené Brown. And I listened so far to, um, I'm currently listening to Shame and Accountability, and I learned, I've learned a lot, just like how to talk to your kids. Um, because certain shame, mm -hmm. if you shame them, like the effects, mm -hmm. humiliation, mm -hmm. and that kind of thing, it's really like some of that, I believe it's humiliation that can cause like, um, future criminal like mm -hmm. behaviors. So, um, it's eye opening. And then she had, um, a talk with Sue Monk Kid about her book, The Book of Longings. And that was, ugh, that was so, Juicy, like I felt like I needed a pen and, and all the podcasts. I need like a book, even with the guy who wrote um, How to Be an Anti Racist, mm -hmm. Ibram Zandi. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, mm -hmm. but that was also 
enlightening. Mm -hmm. And also, I'm glad that somebody else is putting out there what we've always thought. Mm -hmm. So um, it's really good. Check her out. Um, she even has a podcast, um, one with Reese and Reese Witherspoon and Kerry Washington on the, what's the book, the story they did? Um, um, Little Fires. Little Fires Everywhere. everywhere. And I'm going to, Tracy and I both bought the book to read it because, man, it's just all of Sue Monk's kids' books just sound really intriguing. Um, Shelby, and how I can't, I mean, I knew about it, but um, Shelby Monet Book Club, I think it's what it's called, Flash of Hair. She does these book clubs, and that was one of her first books was The Book of Longings, and that's how I got into it um, recently. And so I do recommend she and she's always follow on Instagram. She's always given like book ID. Like, mm -hmm. like there's one she put out um, today and mm -hmm. she said it's so good. It's like uh, it's an old like, you know, what's going to I'll flash the name of the book here because I can't remember. it. But it's a classic, I think. Mm -hmm. And she said it's even though you know how the story ends because it's based on a real life thing. Mm -hmm. it, the book was just so good. good. And her saying that I'm just like made me curious right. so i'm like i put it in my amazon shopping cart i'm like this girl is gonna make me broke buying all these books ah. <laughs> but um that's good though to read right yeah i'm trying to read more i only get time to read at the end of the day when i get in bed before i go to sleep and that's been working out for me yeah. I, I notice when i do that because that's when everybody's in bed yes nobody's can, pulling on you yeah something i'm else. getting through the book of longings i yeah. mean faster than i would normally yeah. so I mean, normally now with my current life situation, <laughs> because as a kid and even as a young adult, I would read through books like in fast. a day. Fast. Yeah. So. Yeah. Fast. Yeah. When you don't have anything to do, you could read. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. so guys, we talked a lot. We're over an hour. <laughs> Hopefully we can cut some of that out. <laughs> and um, I don't know. Uh, you have anything else? No. No, that's it. I'm just going to. Keep on knitting away, keeping my mind off the news. <laughs> I, know. I, I, yeah. I, you know, I try to check once a day to make sure Rome isn't burning, but yeah, uh, we just gotta pray for everybody. Yeah, <laughs> I'm curious to see where when we come back together to podcast, where we will be <laughs> with school. Oh yeah, yeah. Hopefully, anyway. I don't know. I don't Thanks know for. Thanks for view watching and thank you for subscribing. Yeah. We really appreciate that. And yeah. do feel free to leave comments and questions. Yeah. You know, because we may went through this kind of quickly and it's a lot of stuff. So if you have questions that we didn't think about mentioning here, that would be great. Yeah. Well until then, be well. Bye. Bye.